slash class dot php mailer dot php <coughs> you guys right now out here I have some junk of code that is actually required in order to send any emails so I'm gonna copy it then I'm gonna tell you what we are doing guys uh, in order to use any kind of a functions from a class we very first we need to make the instance of class so here the dollar mail will be equal to the new instance of PHP mailer this is their actual class name now we are free to use any kind of a functions or I would say methods which are inside this particular class so one of those functions is is mail that means we are able to send the mails now okay then SMTP auth true that we would be using an SMTP server that's actually true and uh, then we need from which uh, email we would be sending so it would be sender email and uh, out here we need a sender name if you remember from here from the database it's sender name and sender email then out here uh, I would be saying mail to sender that would be sender email again guys add reply to sender email and here would be dollar post email x okay then I would be saying subject to subject is HTML true if you want to send any kind of HTML code and then it will be newsletter attachment that would us our folder name is right let me check out it's newsletter attachments and the name of the file we would be getting from here under attachment from the database okay then there is a function called add attachment we would be sending the file name there and our actual body that we created out here and in the last we would be writing the function php mail send or let it be f okay here I'm going to say echo you got it <clears throat> okay that seems pretty fine let's see whether it will send any emails or not so or I'm going to say send newsletter uh, I don't even have any of my email IDs so very quickly I'm going to edit one of the records here and I'm going to enter my own email ID uh, this one seems to be a subscribed user I'm going to change it and I'm going to say let the rate VNS LTD dot in <coughs> so uh, okay this is the one attachment used there so I'm going to select this name I'm going to hit send and let's see what happens it says invalid address you should provide at least one recipient so, there seems to be an error why it's saying invalid address <coughs> Okay, let me echo dollar post email let's see what that is refresh so like this oh, yeah. go back hit send email seems to be pretty fine but why the people are sending invalid email address hmm. Let's see if I got it. Okay, I got it out here. Let's see whether we will get the attachment or not. Then I'm gonna uh, check this particular thing out why it's saying, you know, invalid address. <coughs> here it shows uh, the email that the people are sending. And very quickly, I would be opening my email to check out whether we got any attachments or not. Okay, it's still in the process. Whatever it says, time left to nothing right now. what I believe the error would be if you people remember that uh, out here 
we are saying until and unless the post request are you know less than the count so first time it actually got a valid email address next time it didn't got any valid email address because our count requests are more than the number of people we selected so if I have selected one email so the count request would be around four or I would say five okay so that might be the problem but don't worry we actually gonna check it out it's still item and here it says pausing the sending request to some minutes one minute left If you guys see out here here it says the email ID and here it says you got it so with the actual email ID it was actually able to send one email address but it was not able to send the email address for the rest of the time because we only selected one and there are more than one uh, post request on this particular page and here it says four second left two second left It's taking a lot of time. Okay, now it would be starting the process. Find inside. Send it. And it would be sent for sure. We're being spam. I know that. Okay. And yep. Out here we have our attachment so we can actually view it and we can download it if you people want you can try different files and I'm 120 percent sure it will send all kind of files so guys that was one of the very easy way to send attachments and I'm gonna mark it to no spam I'm not a spam dude I know the email I am using or the name I'm using does not seem very familiar but I'm not a spam okay guys now we need to check out why this particular error coming and that what i told you it's because if you people see out here there is only one email id we selected right but if i'll echo dollar count posts our post request would be way more than the email id is we selected okay so recent here it is eight okay so there are eight requests though we only selected one name so for seven times it does not uh, get any kind of an email address that's the only reason this error coming but uh, we have to find a way to stop it Okay, it says dollar post email ads. Let me check it out, guys. Give me a second, okay? So, guys, the best we can do out here is uh, what it's doing is it's actually running this loop again and again. So, what we can do is we can pass a condition, something like if uh, dollar post email x like only once you are getting the variable uh, email x then only run it otherwise you don't run it so i believe that will solve our problem and try whether it will do it or not go back i'm going to refresh i'm going to select only one name here i'm going to hit send and here it says you got it so it is actually solving our problem that way now one email is going with an attachment and it's uh, showing that you got it from one time and one more thing guys you can do it just you know keep this you got it out of the loop otherwise you know you would be showing you got it you got it you got it for so many times and um, you know and that does not make uh, any sense so that's only about the send now that PHP file now we are actually able to send attachments